Now let's keep in mind that although all gradient fields are vector fields, not all vector fields are gradient fields of a function. And this is an example here of a vector field that is not a gradient field of a function. This is the vector field minus y x. The components of the vector minus y and x are not the partial derivatives of any scalar function f. So this is not the gradient of any function f. And another way to see it is it has whirling twirlings here. That's typical of a vector field that is not a gradient field. It has what's called non-zero curl. Curl means like rotation. And so we will be testing whether a function is a gradient field by checking whether it has curl not by i. There's a formula for that, so hang in there. But let's look at the vector field itself. So let's look right here at this point. What is that point? The point is a 0, 0. So that means the vector is, let's see, minus 0, 0 equal to 0, 0. So it's the 0 vector and that's why there's no vector there but it's not a minimum or a maximum. It's not stationary because the arrows are circling around, not going out from it or coming into it. Let's check out another vector. Let's check out this vector right here. It looks like it has no x component and a positive y component. So what's the point? 1, 0. So the point is 1, 0. That makes the vector equal to minus 0, 1 equal to 0, 1. It has no x component and a positive y component. Looks just right. Let's pick a slightly more interesting one. How about this one right here? That's at 2 minus 2. So the point is 2 minus 2. That makes the vector equal to minus minus 2. So that's plus 2 and then 2. So 2, 2. And we can see that the slope of this vector would be this, the y divided by the x is 1. We can see the slope is 1. And it's definitely longer than this one. That brings up the point about to what is the, the vector scale of this depiction of the vector field. And uh, let's pick up easy vector. I looked at this, and this looks like an easy vector here to check out. It's at a point we can check out, minus 2, 0 and it looks like it has two tick marks with worth of length. So on the graph, we'll label this V, the magnitude of V appears to be two times the tick marks, which are 0.2 apart, so 0 0.4. V is at the point minus two zero. So V equals zero minus 2. And you can see that it is that. It's got 0 x component and minus 2 y component. So the actual magnitude of V is equal to 2. So as we know, we take this number divided by this number to get the vector scale. So the vector scale is 0 0.4 divided by 2 equal to 0 0.2. So all their actual magnitude has been multiplied by 0 0.2 to get their depicted magnitude. Let's look at another one. This is another vector field that is not the gradient field of any function. Notice again the typical curly, whirly twirly. So this has non-zero curl. And so you can see it a little bit better. We're going to take this block right here and make it with our different kind of arrowheads. This part here we have magnified and you can see the whirly twirlies more here. This is a very cool function. It, this is the vector field of sine of y cosine of x. And the idea is that there is no real valued function f whose partial with respect to x gives sine of y and whose partial with respect to y gives cosine of x. And we will always be able to find some kind of curl in these, in these vector fields that are not the gradient field of any function. 
Here are the Mathematica commands for these two plots.